But yeah, so I got my new tractor. What happened with you guys last week? Don't tell me about podcast stuff. I don't care about that. Just in the last week that I saw you. Um, I I haven't gotten a lot of sleep in the past week. Did you guys actually? Yeah. <laughs> now we're going Howard Stern. Yeah, there we go. Why weren't you getting a lot of sleep, Marco? I don't know. I wasn't sleeping well last week. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, too much caffeine in that diet? No. Yeah. It's because he's on the carnivore diet, so all the pasta's really getting to him. No, all the carrots. <laughs> the carnivore diet, he's just so stuffed on peanut butter. I stopped doing the carnivore diet a while ago, but my acne cleared up. never was doing the carnivore diet. Eat, I did eat, it for like two weeks. Twice. That's the joke. <laughs> I did it for two weeks. He's like, he had just... a steak and assumed he was on the carnivore diet. <laughs> I didn't even eat just, steak uh, on the carnivore diet. Been doing this state thing called the uh, omnivore diet. It's pretty much where you eat whatever you want, and you tell people you have a very unique, special diet. <laughs> Ridiculous. I look like I'm in uh, like a prisoner of war. You too. <laughs> look at my background. Other than my Pablo Picasso. I love how your camera just keeps drifting here and there. I've got a I've got a camera guy. Gerald, got study the camera. Sorry, guys, it's embarrassing. Gerald makes very little money and has Parkinson's disease. I'm paying him pennies on the dollar to hold this camera. Oh, like Michael J. Fox? To pay for his Parkinson's medication. No, not like Michael J. Fox. He's an actor, not a cameraman. <laughs> dumb, dumb. But they're both in the Hollywood industry and have Parkinson's. <sighs> Michael J. Fox is a saint, you son of a bitch. Okay. Have you ever seen Back to the Future 3? I didn't know who I was until I saw that. I saw one. Which, Which one? one? The first one. <laughs> and no, Marco, it was probably two. Right. Yeah, the first one, you know, where uh, he goes to the future. You know that one? <laughs> Whatever one, they go back in time to, like, the cowboy. That's, That's the third. Two. That's the third one? Yeah, Marco hasn't seen it, but of course he knows that a little detail. <laughs> No, I, I haven't seen the entire movie, but I remember the third one being on uh, the TV on a trip to Florida one time. I've never seen it, but I did see the behind-the-scenes making documentary. Oh! Also, there's an Easter egg in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. There's a remake of a map called Standoff, and it's this old western town they made, and there's Easter eggs uh, that allude to Back to the Future 3. Well, that's perfect that. timing, since Easter's coming right around the corner. What happens if you collect all the Easter eggs? Uh, you get an achievement. Candy? No. Is, is candy the achievement? Just a little virtual award on the PlayStation. This is the worst egg hunt I've ever heard of. Well, no, that this wasn't like really like an Easter egg hunt. There's Easter egg hunts for like other video games. In game Easter modes. egg hunt 2 for the N64. <laughs> Never played the first one. Second one's great. <laughs> I was a little confused. I didn't like they didn't let me use my own controller. <laughs> They made me use the new controller. I don't like that. Yeah, it's stupid. Not this again. I can't do this again. I can't have the conversation about this controller again. 